This is Chris, a dating doc with a dating doc raw episode. If you're new to the channel, understand that I have plenty of help service videos. These are tips. These are guidance for singles. This right here, though, this is an unedited, raw, unfiltered version of me. And I cover everything from dating news to the manosphere to just things off the top of my head. So disclaimer. I don't fully agree or disagree with censorship of any kind. So please understand that. Also, just because I disagree or agree with part of a movement does not make me part of the movement or does not make me against the movement. It means that I'm advocating for free thinking. If you stay tuned to this video, I'm going to actually talk about what my real purpose is with why I keep going in on the manosphere. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the real reason YouTube centers part of the manosphere. Well, guess what? Big YouTube corporate cannot tell the difference, cannot discern whether you are providing actual guidance, whether you're toxic or where you're trying to radicalize a certain group of people. What do I mean by radicalize? Radicalize, okay, and again, keep in mind, I'm a 16-year Army veteran. I'm I've been in different countries. I've seen what's called influencing activities. And what that is, is understanding how groups recruit others. What do they do? First, they target people that are almost, almost towards their purpose path. They almost know what they're going to do with their life. And I'm not talking just a job. They're actually understanding their gifts and how they could apply them and influence society. But... This is what happens. They might be a little bit down. In this case, when it comes to relationship dynamics, we're talking about the manosphere, the pills, the MGTOW, all those movements. They target folks that maybe their whole life revolves around video games, certain websites they go to for self-release, if you know what I mean, work, and maybe a little bit of working out. So they feel like their life is dull. Maybe they're a little bit depressed and anxious. And then they hop onto YouTube and they get pulled in by very intoxicating, seduce, seducing type of information. And then as they get ensnared in this kind of information, they truly feel like they're belonging to a group. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, that group leader only cares that you're feeding their ego by agreeing with what they say and showing your allegiance by attacking anyone that disagrees. That's radicalization 101. Now, I find the irony in the fact that a lot of symbology of the matrix is used, for example, the red pill. If you take the red pill, the way the Wachowski brothers wanted to actually use that metaphor was true, the true embodiment of enlightenment, where you are a true free thinker. But now what, ha what has happened is that this red pill movement, parts of it, have become radicalized to where they actually feel that red pill is a movement, not a free thinking, but basically has more closer ties to feminism, believe it or not. Extreme groups most of the time have more in common with each other than different from each other. They've become this point of all these rejections, the fact I can't get a woman. So you know what? I'm just not going to care about women. I'm just going to be a jerk, even transcending sexual dynamics and relationships. I'm just going to be a jerk, period. I'm just going to be self-centered and do me. No. Okay. Big YouTube understands that some people are being radicalized and it's, it's changing a collective block of men. So I understand that. I actually do understand why YouTube would censor because some of these men have escalated to things that may make the news. Okay, I'm not going to go into specific uh, examples of violence, but they're out there. Or things that don't make the news, whether that's domestic violence, whether that's just being a jerk with your family because you think you're, you're part of the red pill, red pill movement, and you're so radicalized, it's almost like a religion to you, which is funny because you're supposed to be a free thinker, and you, you shouldn't based your entire life and personality on either being against woman or pro-woman. Now, here's a funny thing about this. Is those that assume I'm anti this or anti that, they're going to label me, oh, he's just being a, a beta 
or he's being a shrimp. I'm sure you figured out, you know, you take out a couple letters from there. He's being such a shrimp, a beta shrimp, or he's, he's such a feminist. Look, brother, I can agree and disagree with the movement. And if that's your only simple insult, especially if a lot of you are repeating it, then you're kind of all being basic together. Okay. Check out my YouTube video. See how many I ask for money or I, or I sell a course. Meanwhile, your little group leader is asking for PayPal donations, is telling you to join Patreon, is telling you to do this. And yet they, they feel like they're part of this underground movement, but then they're asking for money. <laughs> the irony. Meanwhile, this YouTube stuff is just part of what I do. I'm not just a content creator. And it's easy to find me. I don't have to hide between any kind of avatar, behind any kind of anything. And I do have a passion for actually helping people. So that's the thing, that YouTube is going to censor people. If they know, hey, look, there's a certain mind frame that I know it's very intoxicating for young men, you know, ages 15, anecdotal, 22, 23, where they're feeling depressed and anxious and want to feel part of a group. Maybe they're mad at women. They're mad at the fact that, you know, their their creepy, anxious ways hasn't led them to where they need to be. Okay. And then they, they go towards these groups. I understand why YouTube's going to censor because through that anger, you get radicalized and you could do things that harm you, harm your career, your family, or other people. You don't need that. But you feel like you're part of this cool contrarian movement. You feel like, man, okay, cool. I'm part of this whole underground thing. I'm telling you right now, it's going to cause more damage than good. Because one day, most of you, I actually wish they did an exit survey. Most of you are going to grow out of this. But the problem is it might be too late. You might have actually receded when it came to social skills in place of risk aversion from woman and 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 woman putting you through the dating carousel and hitting the wall and putting you through the plan, you know, the same old stuff you guys talk about since 2013. Or you can truly be a free thinker. You can avoid the wrong kind of woman and go towards the right kind of woman. It's that easy. It doesn't have to be all one or all the other. YouTube is going to censor people that think it has to be all one or all nothing. Come on now. You're smarter than that. And if you're pissed off, you disagree with me, so be it. But I'm not asking for money. Meanwhile, your your folks are, right? <laughs> so I say all this because if you've made it this far and you truly do want to unplug, I'm going to tell you right now, you can email me. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving my email here. There's no gimmicks. There's no bait and switch. There's no upsell. Now, if you tell me you're interested in day coaching, hey, I'm, I'm not scared to respond and talk to you about pricing, but there is no gimmicks here. If you truly are like, you know what? Let me talk to him real quick. Let me let, me let him know my situation. I'm going to protect your privacy. Okay, this is all completely discreet. And my job is to just have a conversation with you. Because that's how passionate I am about this. I don't want young men to wake up one day, wake up again, because they truly feel awoken right now. And then they snap out of it and figure out the group never really cared about you. And here you are, you're trying to start a family. You're trying to actually have um, a healthy sex life. And you're just stuck on this mentality. Look, if you really want to chat it up, just contact me in the email, Okay. I truly mean it. It's a good way for me to also learn who's actually watching this and how I could be better at this. So um, that's all I got. Hopefully you enjoy this. You understand where I'm coming from. This is Dating Doc signing out. And again, keep in mind that it all starts with the person in the mirror. Dating Doc, I'm out.